Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior and today we're going to be talking about Karin Kanzuki. Now Karin lives with a very upper class family, so through them, she's somewhat developed a very snobby attitude. Now despite this, Karin had a rather difficult upbringing, as her father actually wanted a son. Now despite this, Karin was still treated the same way, even if she were a boy, and she was given numerous tasks to complete in order to be accepted as a true Kanzuki. And some of these are just ridiculous. At the age of 9, she was taken to the woods with minimal food and water and was left there alone so she had to come all the way back home safely or she'd in fact be disowned by her father. Now not only was she able to accomplish this but she beat her father's record. You see it took two weeks for her father but for her it took her only four days. Now she'd be given another test of having to charm 5,000 men. Um all right that makes me feel really uncomfortable to say that especially when she did this under the age of 14. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's move on. Now, at the age of 14, she was required to stop a stampede of 50 wild bulls. And much like her previous trial, she was able to succeed and again beat her father's record by one. Now, because of this, she was seen as the heir to his throne. Now, when Karin was attending school, she would develop a somewhat rivalry with Sakura. Now, at some point, the two did come to blows, with Karin being able to defeat her rival. Karin then makes her first in-game appearance in Street Fighter Alpha 3. Now, during the events of Alpha 3, the Kanzuki Corporation is in fact threatened by Shadowloo. Now since her livelihood has been threatened, Karin uses the money at her disposal in order to track down Shadowloo. Now on her journey, she'd come into contact with Sakura once again and prove that she still is the superior fighter. She would later on come into contact with Blanca, in which she is impressed by the diversity of fighters around the globe. She even encounters a wrestler by the name of Armika, and the two battle with Karin once again gaining the upper hand. Now she's that impressed by the wrestler, that she offers her a sponsorship to help her in her pursuit for success. Now due to being sidetracked for most of Alpha 3, she's unable to be in Thailand to witness Shadowloo's destruction. Now with Shadowloo gone, the Kanzuki Enterprise is allowed to continue their business in peace. Karin would then appear in Street Fighter 5, and she's matured a lot during her Alpha days. She's not quite as egotistical and stuck up as she was, and has since then gained some humility. Now from Street Fighter Alpha 3 to now, she has become head of the Kanzuki Kanzuki estate, having defeated her father in combat and claimed the title for herself. Now during the beginning of Street Fighter V, she would meet Birdie, who she'd invite to her estate, as she was interested in employing new bodyguards. Now in order to test how good of a fighter he was, she would battle him herself, and by the end of it, she was satisfied with what she had seen, so she would employ him. She would then set her eyes on India, as she heard of a very powerful Sinjutsu master currently roaming around. Believing that this was the same fighter who battled her grandfather for three straight days, Karin would immediately take off. When she was out there searching for him, she'd come into contact with Dalsim, who would inform her that she unfortunately had missed Oro. Now to make up for lost time, she would battle the master of the yoga flame, and by the end of it, the two were very impressed by each other's skills. Now not long after this, she would see a bunch of Shadowloo soldiers running away from Zangief, so the two decided to team up and take them down. Now as we all know, Karin is always eager to fight someone and this would lead to her going toe to toe with Zangief and by the end of it they were both very impressed by each other's skill. Now later on she'd travel back to Japan where she'd meet up with her friend Sakura. You see over the years the two have not so much been rivals anymore and have seemed to have become extremely close but things haven't changed that much and Karin battles Sakura with the outcome being unknown. Now during the events of a shadow's fall a Kanzuki satellite is destroyed by one of the black moons created by Shadowloo. Realizing that something is going on, she would reach out to some of the world's best fighters. Now there are seven black moons located around the world, and each of them have a chess piece, which works as an activation key. Now these were designed in order to create chaos around the world, as bison fed off negative energy. So the more destruction that was created, the stronger that bison essentially became. Now the fighters would travel around the world, collecting these chess pieces, with Karin going with Gal, Zangief, Ibuki, and Armika to Shadowloo's base. They successfully infiltrate it. She'd come into contact with Fong and defeat the Shadowloo soldier. She made all of the world's fighters regroup at her estate so that they could finally put together a plan to take out Shadowloo. They decide that when they go to have their final assault against Shadowloo, that Charlie, Chun-Li, Gao and Ryu must go inside the base, whilst everyone else fights off the Shadowloo soldiers outside. Now everything goes as planned, 
And whilst fighting outside Shadaloo's base, Curran goes toe to toe with a Shadaloo doll called Enro, and the two battle with Curran defeating her. Now she can be seen at the end of the game after Bison has been defeated, as all of the heroes watch as Shadaloo is finally destroyed, and this draws her character arc to an end. And that's it for Curran, guys. Now, I apologise for this video, in fact, being a week late. I stupidly travelled outside of London and left my equipment behind. So, sorry about that. Now, who would you guys like to see for the next Street Fighter episode? As it seems like I've covered a majority of the larger names within the franchise. Maybe Poison? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. And also put down in the comments below who would you like to see next week for Tekken's episode. At the moment, it seems to be between Anna Williams and Asuka Kazama. Please put down in the comments below. And if possible, guys let's try getting this video to 750 likes as it's a great way of supporting both myself and this channel now as always guys please comment like subscribe and share this video with everyone you know please take care and i will see you all next time